Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have x to the power of 5 is equal to 9 to the power of x. And we want to find the value of x, obviously. Alright, so to solve this problem, x to the power of 5 is equal to 9 to the power of x. What we are first going to do is we are going to take the natural log on both sides, which is also known as ln. So if I take ln on both sides, ln x to the power of 5 is equal to ln 9 to the power of x. Now, an important property of logarithms is that if I have log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b to the front of the logarithm. So now this would equal b times log a. So this can actually also be used for natural logarithms. So if I have ln of a to the power of b, I can move the exponent to the front. So this would equal b times ln a. And why this property is so useful is because, let's say you have an equation, let's say 7 to the power of x is equal to 9, right? And as you can see, our exponent x, this is an exponent. And we want, if we want to solve for x, we want it to be a real term. So if we take the log or ln on both sides, we can move our exponent and make it a real term. So now this is supposed to be uh, log 9, sorry. Now if we divide log 7 on both sides, we get our value of x. So that is why that property is so useful. Alright, so now going back to our problem, we have ln x to the power of 5 is equal to ln 9 to the power of x. And now using that property, I'm going to move my exponent to the front. So now I have 5 times ln x is equal to ln 9 to the power of x. Now I'm going to do the same thing with ln 9 to the power of x. I'm going to move it to the front. So now I have 5 times ln x is equal to x times ln 9. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by 5x. So then my 5s here, these would cancel out. And my x's here, these would cancel out. So now I'm left with ln x over x is equal to ln 9 over 5. So now x here, this is the same thing as e to the power of ln x. And why this is so is because e and ln, these two are both opposites and they cancel out. So if I take the e to the power of ln of something, let's say e to the power of ln of 9, these two would cancel out and, are, and this would simply equal 9. So this is why e to the power of ln x, this would simply just equal x. So now this is equal to ln of 9 over 5. Now, ln x over e to the power of ln x is the same thing as ln x times 1 over e to the power of ln x. And this is equal to ln 9 over 5. Now, if I have a number a to the power of negative 1, this is the same thing as 1 over a, right? So 1 over e to the power of ln x 
that is going to be e to the power of negative of the exponent, which in this case is negative ln x. So this can be negative ln x. Now this is equal to ln 9 over 5. Now I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1. So now I have negative ln x times e to the power of negative ln x is equal to negative ln 9 over 5. So now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking the w function on both sides. So now I have w. And what this function means is if you take the w of, let's say, a to the power a times e to the power of a, this is actually simply equal to a. So in this case, if I take the w of negative ln x times e to the power of negative ln x, and this is equal to the w of negative ln 9 over 5, this is simply going to equal negative ln x. Because in this case, a is negative ln x, and then we have times e to the power of negative ln x. So this would equal a. And this is also the reason why we multiplied both sides here by negative 1, because we wanted both a's to be the same. This was negative ln x, and this was simply positive ln x. So we wanted to make both a's the same. So now this is simply equal to negative ln x. So now I have negative ln x is equal to the w of negative ln 9 over 5. Now remember the property that stated if I had ln of a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so this would equal b times ln a. Now I'm going to be doing the opposite. We have a negative 1 here, and I'm going to be moving this back to the front. So now I have ln x to the power of negative 1 is equal to w of negative ln 9 over 5. Now if I take the power of e on both sides, I get e to the power of ln x to the power of negative 1 is equal to w e to the power of w of negative ln 9 over 5. So then these two cancel out, because remember e's and ln's cancel out. So now I have x to the power of negative 1 is equal to e to the power of w of negative ln 9 over 5. Now x to the power of not negative 1, this is the same thing as 1 over x. So now I have 1 over x is equal to e to the power of w of negative ln 9 over 5. Now I can switch the places of two, these two. So now I get x is equal to 1 over e to the power w of negative ln 9 over 5. So that is our value of x. Thank you.